All right, today we're going to dive into a really fascinating Tesla patent. Now, on the surface, it's just about a car door hinge. But if you look a little closer, you find this whole manufacturing philosophy that could be the secret sauce to unlocking the next generation of affordable, high-quality electric cars. And for anyone watching the future of manufacturing, this is a pretty big deal. Okay, so let's get right into it. It all starts with a problem that I'm sure you've noticed. It drives car enthusiasts and definitely car company CFOs totally crazy. I'm talking about those slight but totally noticeable misalignments in the doors and panels on a brand new car. This isn't just about looks, you know. It's actually a symptom of a massive, super expensive problem in mass production. And that enemy, it has a name. It's called Tolerance Stackup. It's kind of like a ghost in the machine for every major automaker, and it quietly costs them an absolute fortune in waste and having to do things over. Let me show you exactly what that means. So in a perfect world, every single part that comes off the assembly line should be a perfect clone of the last one. But in the real world, that's not what happens. You get these microscopic differences, a tenth of a millimeter here, a hundred there, and they start to add up. They stack on top of each other. So by the time you've put a thousand parts together to make a car body, the spot where you need to mount a door hinge might be off just enough to create a gap you can see. So here's the crucial part. What happens then? Well, in traditional manufacturing, if that precision-made, very, very expensive structural part doesn't line up perfectly, you can't use it. It gets tossed, scrapped, and that is a huge, huge hit to the bottom line. And it's a major roadblock if you're trying to make cars that are both high quality and low cost. But what if you didn't have to throw away that expensive part? Tesla's patent has this brilliantly simple solution to this really complex problem. And honestly, the best way to get it is with an analogy that you'll understand right away. And what's so cool about this slide is how perfectly it captures the whole idea. Think about it. You don't re-engineer or throw away the expensive eyeglass frame, right? No, instead you build in this tiny, super cheap, adjustable component, the nose pads, to absorb all the little differences. You adapt the cheap part to save the expensive one. It's so elegant and it's so much cheaper. So let's jump into the patent itself and see how this whole adjustable nose pad idea actually works. This is where the engineering gets really, really clever. It solves two key problems and it starts with how the hinge actually mounts to the car's body. Okay, take a look at this diagram from the patent. That big piece, part number 102, that's the expensive forged bracket. That's our eyeglass frame. But the real heroes of our story are those two little rings, parts 106 and 108. Those are the nose pads. They are the absolute key to this whole thing. So these little rings are made of what's called a sacrificial material. And the name really says it all. It's a cheap, softer material that's designed to be easily shaped or changed, basically taking the hit so the main expensive part doesn't have to. And this, this is where the magic happens. It's brilliant. The whole hinge assembly is put up against the car body. Then a machine measures the actual position of the mounting holes on that specific car, and it drills a new perfect hole right through that soft sacrificial locator to match it exactly. It corrects for any of that tolerance stack up right there on the spot. You get a perfect custom fit for every single car coming down the line. But that only solves half the problem. See, a car door doesn't have one hinge, it has two, an upper one and a lower one. And for that door to swing smoothly, you know, without sticking or wearing out over time, those two hinges have to rotate around one single perfectly straight line, a shared axis. And guess what? The patent solves this with the exact same idea. It's so smart. You can see it right here in figure 11. Both the upper and the lower hinges have these sacrificial locators. Then, a machine comes in and bores a hole through both of them at the exact same time, creating one mathematically perfect axis of rotation. Just like that, problem solved. So, what does this all add up to? I mean, a clever hinge is nice, but what does it really mean for Tesla's big production goals and, you know, for the rest of us buying the cars? Let's look at the payoff, because this is where it gets really interesting for anyone watching the future of this company. The benefits here are just huge. You get much higher precision without having to slow down the assembly line. You dramatically cut down on wasting expensive parts, which directly lowers the cost of every single car. And the end result? A better built car with a perfect door fit every single time. This is exactly how you scale up high quality production. And you know, while this might just seem like a tiny little detail, this quote really gets to the heart of modern manufacturing. The game today isn't one with one giant leap. It's one with thousands of these relentless, clever, cost-saving improvements, just like this one. 
This right here is the blueprint for making electric vehicles affordable for millions of people. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? If this level of genius is hiding inside a simple car door hinge, what other boring everyday parts are just sitting there waiting for one clever idea to come along and completely change an entire industry?